California State Parks is preserving two historic gold rush sites west of Redding on Highway 299. I visited one where Chinese miners left their mark, Weaverville Joss House. From Shasta, it took about an hour and a half on Highway 299 to reach the old mining town of Weaverville. In Trinity Alp country, this town contains the oldest continuously used Chinese temple in California. Built in 1875, the Weaverville Joss House, also known as the Temple in the Forest Beneath the Clouds, was placed under the protection of California State Parks in 1956 and is managed as an art collection. Today, guided tours give visitors a glimpse of ancient Chinese traditions. A visitor center on the grounds contains interpretive displays depicting the struggle that the Chinese endured while attempting to acquire a share of California's gold. Before taking a tour, I asked our guide, Diane, about the Joss House Temple. The um, Chinese were a disparate community from all over China, spoke different dialects. They were having civil war in China, so their political opinions were different. They needed some sort of a unifying place. And in many of these Old West towns, they would kind of rally around or gather around some form of house of worship. That certainly mm -hmm. was true here in Weaverville. Uh, this temple occupies pretty much the physical center of the Chinese portion of town. Um, it was built in 1874, and they sent to China for many of the things that you're going to be seeing on the interior. And it's a Taoist temple. Taoism espoused as a philosophy by a man named Lao Tzu over 2,500 years ago, and it's based on maintaining the balance and the mm -hmm. worship of many gods, goddesses, and ancestors. And a lot of the original things that were brought from China are, are in the temple. Yes, and it's one of the things about it as a historic site that's really significant. Uh, during the upheavals in China and the Cultural Revolution, many of the old rural-style temples there were dismantled or destroyed. So the fact that we have a complete and intact temple from that time period here in Weaverville makes it quite a draw. People come from China and are very excited to see it here. Mm -hmm. We're lucky to have it as part of the state park system. Uh, you'll find uh, three different altars when you get inside. In Taoism, they have thousands of gods to choose from. Each community chooses the gods that they think will help them the most. Mm. Here in Weaverville, it was primarily a mining community in 1874, so they chose their gods accordingly. Three altars, the altar of health and fortune, the altar of protection, and a god that also helps with the mining activity. And then there's also the altar of mercy and travel. Uh, so health, protection, travel, mercy, um, those fortune, finding their fortunes, that's what they were here for. Those were the types of things uh, and the various gods that they chose. The Chinese contributed greatly to the development of California. Uh, not only were their methods for water control and the mining districts important, but also for the development of the central valleys in California for farming. Also, the fishing off the coast of California was greatly developed by Chinese ingenuity. They'd been fishermen off the coast of China. And in the railroads, it was the Chinese that saw to it that the railroads were gotten through the Sierra Nevada, their ability. Mm -hmm. But this was a special place to them and to have a complete and intact temple that was their special place it's just is a wonderful vestige of their presence here and their many many contributions to the development of the state of California.